Hello, we are your friends from the Office of Early Childhood at the Mississippi Department of Education. I'm Oki, and I like to teach through song and play. I'm Candace. I like to pop in and help make activities easier. I'm Marissa, and I like to make learning fun. And this is the Mockingbird. He's going to come and tweet us through every lesson, and he's our state bird. And I'm Lemuel, and I love creating cool things with lots of fun stuff. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. We will learn through meaningful play about our theme and question of the day. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. Let's get ready to have some fun. Yeah. Hello, friends, and welcome. I'm Oki, Okie Doki, who likes the hokey pokey. Hey, I wonder what we're going to talk about today. Let's go visit the Mockingbird to see what our tweet is for today. Hello, Mr. Mockingbird. Do you have our tweet for today? Oh, you do? Okay, here it goes. How can friends communicate thoughts, feelings, and needs to each other. Hmm, you know what? I have some friends from past Christiane, Mississippi, so let's hear how they think that communication is good for our thoughts, feelings, and the need to help each other. Take it away. Hi, from past Christiane Elementary School. This is Adeline. Hello. Kingston. Hi, well. Isaac. Hi. Wesley. Hi. And Dallas. Hello. So our question it is, how can I communicate or let my friends know what I'm thinking, feeling, or if I need something? Kingston, how would you communicate that? Um, my use my words. You'll use your words. Wonderful. Adeline, how about you? Um, if someone don't have something, we ask for them. You ask if you need something, if you don't have something. Dallas, how can you communicate? Uh, I can show them how I feel with my feelings. Oh, you can show your feelings with your face. You sure can. Wesley? Um, when I play with somebody, I smile. You smile, and that shows them that you're feeling... Happy. Happy. Isaac, what can you do? Um, you can write a note or draw a picture. Yes, we can write a note or draw a picture to show our friends what we think, feel, or need. Thank you, boys and girls. They gave some great thoughts and ideas on how we can communicate our feelings and thoughts. They say we can use our words and we can also use our face to show emotions and feelings. Great job, Miss Holdridge's class. I'm gonna blow you a kiss. <sighs> Did you get it? Thank you guys. Now we're gonna talk about our vocabulary words for today. Our first word is memory and that is something that a person remembers. Number two is express, and that's to tell your thoughts or your feelings. And number three is apologize. Tells what you should do when you bump into someone that hurts you or hurt you, to apologize. And listen, to pay attention to. Hey, let's call our friend Candace over to help us with our vocabulary. Oh, Candace. Hi, Oki. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? Doing well. Look, could you help us with some of our vocabulary words today? Sure. We have memory, express, apologize, and listen. What great words. Well, thank you. I bet I can teach you to say memory in Spanish. Okay, I'm ready. It sounds almost the same as the English oh, word. Oh, that should be easy. We say memoria. Memoria. Almost the same, yes, isn't it? it we can is. remember that. Yeah. Let's do it again. Memoria. Very good. I'm also going to teach you the sign for memory. Okay, I'm ready. So the sign for memory is you're going to take your two fingers. Mm -hmm. Two fingers. Touch your face. Oh, touch my face. And then back like this. Oh. As in it's something that you thought about. about. 
in the past. past. Isn't oh, that I neat? Like that. And that is memory. memory. Something in oh, the past. Memory. You do it at home. Let's do it together. Memory. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's good. You have another one? I have another one. I'm going to teach you listen. Listen. So the Spanish word for listen is escutar. Say it again. Escutar. Escutar. Kind of like a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. it made me escuta. think of. Yeah. Escutar. Okay. And the sign for listen is just like you think it might be. You put your finger to your ear. Mm -hmm. You want someone want to, to listen. listen. That's pretty easy, huh? Escuto. Escutar. Escuto. Escutar. Listen. You try it at home. Listen. Wasn't that easy? Thank you, Candice, for helping us. Sure. Will you be back with us soon? Oh, yes. I'll come back later. Okay. See you later. Bye. Wow. Thank you. We learned two words, memory and listen. So go home and try it on your parents and tell them what you learned today, okay? Okay. Now we're going to have our friend Lemuel to come and help us with an art activity. So let's call Lemuel. Oh, Lemuel. Hey, friends. Hello. Hey, artist friends. How are y'all doing? We're great. How are you today? I'm good. That's good. How are you? Are you doing okay? I am. I'm trying to smile. Um, I kind of miss my dad, so, oh. you know, I'm feeling lonely, and I just miss him today. You know, a lot of us have feelings like that from time to time. And I like to create something to help to help me cheer up or just help me work through how I'm feeling that day. Okay. So let's do something together. Oh, I would love that. All right. So we're going to create a piece of artwork. Okay. And, you know, sometimes um, when I'm sad, I like to tear paper. <laughs> you know, That's a or good, frustrated, good you know? therapy, yes. Good, good therapy. <laughs> so I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And... You know, a lot of times we miss our friends, family, mm -hmm. and so as, let's talk about, sometimes it helps to share okay, well, with a friend, and I'll listen while, while, while you share how you're feeling okay. in a memory of your, think of a fun memory, something that really warms your heart um, that you did with your father. Okay. Um, well, I want to think of two. So okay. I'll do the first one is um, coming here to Jackson today. My dad would come up to Jackson and we would ride together. So if he had to come to work, I would come with him. Or if I had to come to work, he would come with me because he had a job up here that he would do. So I, I just miss that ride with him coming to Jackson. But one of our favorite memories that we like to do together also is fishing. We love to go fishing. And that was just good for us to talk, have daddy and daughter time and just to reminisce on when I was young and just have a great old time. So that's a good memory for me. And you know what? Since he passed away, I haven't been fishing, and I need to go fishing. You've got to go fishing. Yes, but I, I'm so happy that you're helping me with this today of thinking about memories about my dad and listening to me because that makes me feel really good. So let's talk a little bit about that memory, a okay. little bit more about that memory. Okay. Um, See, I went fishing. We um, did. I remember going fishing with my father, and we would sometimes go in a boat, which I did not like. Oh, that yeah. was not a good memory. <laughs> now, he would go in a boat, but when he took me, he knew I didn't like the water. So we would go um, in the back bay, and it would usually be on a dock. Oh, on a dock? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, find something that would remind you of the dock. Okay. The color. Probably brown. It was a darker color, so okay. I'll say brown. Now, um, was it uh, a river or a big lake? Where would y'all fish? Well, we would fish. It was part of a, uh, it's in, I live in Gulfport, so it's on the coast. Oh, you oh. don't have beaches. So it was kind of in the back bay. So what was that, the Gulf of Mexico? What? Yeah. So let's, start, okay, so we got some brown for the dock. Mm -hmm. Get different colors of blue and let's make the water. Okay. And a the good water. way, it's fun, is to just kind of tear strips. Because if you look out on the water, the way the, uh, the the reflection of the, the mm -hmm. sun and the light and the clouds hit the water, it makes these little lines, okay. kind of horizontal lines with the horizon. Okay. So we're going to tear some, just real quickly, just strips. Yes. And I'm just going to put some glue down here. We're creating a collage. Okay. And that's just using different kinds of paper. But you could use fabric if you wanted to. 
And I see that we're not cutting, we're just ripping. So that's yes, easy. Yes, work out that sadness. <laughs> yes, that makes me feel good, just ripping paper. Ripping paper. Okay, here's another. You said different blues. So what would this blue be for? Well, see, we could put that right here and overlap these oh, shapes. Look at wow. that. Wow. And you see Is the it little starting ridges? to look like It the, does. Have another see, one? I do. Okay. Okay, and here's my dog. And it was kind of made like a square rectangle shape. Along, so it would have been a rectangle. And there's grass that grows up, you know, sometimes along the edge. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. We need some more blues. Blues. Okay. Let me do a darker blue. How about that? Uh-oh. What about that one? Was that big? A good blue? That is perfect. Okay. So, you know, I told you, I went fishing with my father in a boat. In a boat. You know, some people like fishing in the boat, and if you do, that's wonderful. Well, but I, I like to be on the dock, and so yeah, what too. I would do, it's not very nice. <laughs> what, Lemuel? What did you do? <laughs> well, I would get the fishing pole hung in the tree, oh. <laughs> and I would yank it, and it would hit the boat, and oh. my dad would get so mad with me. And he would, cross, you know, all the fish would go on the other side of the lake, and so then he'd say we had, I think he just said we had to move. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of hot, and and then he would put the fish in with the cokes and soda, and oh really? Uh, it oh, was okay. Anyway. But I did like when we we're on the <laughs> on the land, cause then I could go to the car, take okay, a this break. Is a, for the dock. Hey, you mentioned that you said it was hot when you went fishing. Mm -hmm. Well, when we would go fishing, it would be early in the morning, but not quite daylight. Oh, so yeah. um, the sun would be. Just coming up. So, there's the dog. so we could find some yellow, yellow? a little orange. Okay. A little bit more blue. So what are we gonna do with the yellow and the orange? We are going. So if you can tear it in like a half circle. Half circle. Okay. A half circle. So it have a little curve. Mm hmm And then a little flat part. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to add some more. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna make with this. And so since it's early morning, sometimes you can see some clouds before the sun mm -hmm. comes out. So I'm gonna put some right there. That's gonna be the clouds. Okay. And I'm gonna do. Oh, this is perfect. Is that right perfect? Here. Okay. So we're going to put this right here. So it looks like it's coming up over the horizon. Horizon. I was thinking of that word, horizon. And we'll add some yellow to it. Okay. Do I need to do the yellow the same way, or how the do yellow? You? Let's just tear some little strips of yellow. Okay. Uh, little strips of yellow. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay. Reaching over you. Here you go. And see, I have this container here, and I keep all my scraps. Mm hmm Do you know a long time ago, artists used to have to paint? their paper. You couldn't go to the store and buy like a big sheet of blue mm. or and you okay. would, and they'd have to um, paint it and wait till it dry. Okay. And then they would cut. Oh wow. So that's we're gonna brilliant. add Oh yeah. Oh I need some more little strips. Got a hairy guess I have to go See my friend Candace today. She's gonna help me out with an activity. Let's see. So we can kind of do some rays, rays coming out if we want. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lemuel, you know this really helps. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> I love memories. And so now that you know how to do it, you could actually later. Mm-hmm. Put that behind it back and draw you and your father yes, with the fishing poles. Yes, I think I will do that. And I'll do it with my brothers and sisters so we can all have and talk about good memories fishing with my dad. Lemuel, I really thank you. Well, I hope that you feel better and that you'll have a picture now to remember yes, your father. Yes, I will. Thank you. Can I give you an air hug? Yes. Mm -mm. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Lemuel. Bye. Wow. See you later. That was really nice of Lemuel. It was. 
well, you know what, I'll just take this home with me and finish it up. But now we're going to do an activity. And you know what, I need some help from my friend Candace, so I'm going to call her in. Oh, Candace. Hi, Oki. Hi, Candace. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about Can you? you help me with this activity? Oh, yes. That sounds like fun. Okay, well, with this activity, I'm reminded of a story about a lion oh. and a mouse. And in the jungle, the lion was asleep, mm -hmm. and uh, the mouse was just walking along and talking to his friends, and he didn't see the lion, and he kind of ran uh, across his nose and woke up the lion, uh -oh. and then the lion put his paw on the mouse. Uh -oh. And then he peeked, put his paw up and peeked, and he saw that the lion was really scared. And the mouse apologized and said, can you please let me go? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your nose. And so he let him go. Wow. And then one day, the lion was walking in the jungle, and he got caught in a net <gasps> by hunters. Uh -oh. And he started roaring. Roar. Oh, and you know what? No. The mouse heard him and ran and she nibbled the net off of him and set him free. And you wow. know what? They became best of friends. And you know, Candace, while I was thinking about this story, I noticed that the mouse and the lions, they used their facial expression to express their feelings. Can you tell us about that? Well, you know, sometimes it's hard to use words to say our feelings. Sometimes mm -hmm. our face does it for us. You're right. I've got some little toys that some of my friends use sometimes okay. for help with that. And it helps us show the different feelings. Now, these are little baby dolls, but you mm -hmm. can get different kinds of toys. Look at this baby's face. Yes. Do you see how his eyebrows look? and his little mouth. Oh, it he looks, looks like, like he's sad. He does look sad. Look at that face. Oh, yeah, maybe he misses his mom. Maybe so. When I miss my mom, it makes my face sad like that. Yeah. And then I have another baby. Let's see what else I have. This baby. Woo, look at here. This baby looks surprised. Yes, yes. Look at that. The hair is standing up. Yes. And the eyes are wide and the mouth is wide. <gasps> So surprised. Yes. Do you ever feel surprised, Yes, Ducky? especially at Christmas time when oh. I wake up and I see all my toys and even at birthday parties. When That's I'm exciting. Yes. Very yes. exciting. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's see. This baby, uh-oh, this baby's hmm. mad. Look at those eyebrows. Yes. And those eyes and that mouth. Yes. He was like Lemuel's dad. Lemuel said his dad would get mad at him when he would get the pole caught in the tree. Oh, dear. <laughs> that might yes. be what his face looked well, like. Yes. Oh, yes. my goodness. And sometimes that's what my face looks like when really? I get mad. If somebody does something I don't like, right. my face scrunches up like that. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to stay mad, do right. we? Right, and that's good for us to apologize so you won't be mad. We'll make you happy. Again. That's right, that's right. So sometimes we can use different objects to help show our feelings if we don't know what words to say. Right, well, thank you. Hey, can sure. you play a little game with me? Oh, that's a great I'm idea. I'm going to show you some feelings, and we're going to match the feelings with the facial expression, okay? Oh, wow. This is how I feel today. Wow. So I'm going to come over here and pick some of my words. So we'll do the first word is proud. So which one do you think could be proud? Well, you know, if I did something that I thought was a really good job, mm -hmm. I might feel proud. Yeah. Don't you think this girl looks like she did a good job? Yeah. She got a medal. Yeah, so maybe she won or got her I ready goal or AR goal. Maybe so. So she's proud of that. So I'll put proud right there. Okay, this word is mad. We talked about that uh, earlier. Uh, hmm. hmm. We talked about that scrunched up face, yes. those eyebrows. Oh, I think I got it. Which I one? I think it's this one. I think you're right. Mad. He looks pretty mad. Look so at we're that face. Put mad right there. Yes. Let's see. Want another Some one? More. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This says tired. Oh, you know, if we've been doing a lot of activities, working really hard, sometimes that makes us feel so tired. And maybe our eyes droop and our shoulders yeah. droop. Oh, I think I see oh, it. You found it. I gave you some good yes, hints. Yes, you did. It's this one right here. Oh, he does look tired. Yeah. Look at that face. He had a long day at school today. <laughs> he worked really hard. Yes, he did. <laughs> and the next one is shy. Shy. Now, hmm. hmm, shy is a little more complicated. I think that might be where maybe it makes you a little nervous to talk to people, maybe people you don't know well. Right. You might even want to hide a little bit. Yes. I know she has her hand over her glasses. So that's shy. You know what, Candace? I'm kind of shy. Can you believe that? 
Oh, well, you know what? If we have a friend who is shy, we need to just be extra kind to that friend and let them know that we care about them You're right. and that we want to do things and play and spend time with them. Oh, okay, can we do some more? Let's do another one. Okay. How about that one? What's that say? Mm. Sad. Oh, sad. Hmm. You know, sometimes when things just are not going your way, it makes you sad. Yes. Like, I was thinking about my dad today on the ride up here, and I was kind of sad. And, mm -hmm. you know, my mouth kind of drooped a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think it's this one, sad. Oh, I think so, too. Do you know what I see on her face? Yes, you see tears. I see tears. She's crying a yes. little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. We can help our friends sometimes when they're sad. They are. What we can, can we do? We could give them a hug. Yeah. Or tell them something encouraging. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, you know what, we don't have to say anything. Sometimes we can just sit and be their friend. And just listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. Hey, that's one of our vocabulary it words. Is. Listen. listen. Okay, and then this one is scared. <gasps> scared. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I know. This one, his eyes is big. He looks like he's scared or something. Maybe he saw something that oh, he was afraid no. of. So we're gonna put that one scared. Oh, I might need help when I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You want another one? I do. All right. How about that one? Loved. Oh, I love feeling loved. Oh, that makes us feel so good I inside, know. I doesn't warm it? Warm hugs from my mom. So I think I have the answer for this one. Okay. I think it's this picture right here with this little boy oh. hugging his mom. He's feeling loved. I think he is, cause she's hugging him tight. Right. Let's see. What about this one? Serious. Oh, that means you're not joking around, no, right? You're not playing around. Oh, yeah. serious. Hmm. hmm. Well, this look happy. I, I think she may look serious. She does look serious. She She's got a, something on her mind. Yes, she does. Serious. Hmm. Okay. What else? How about that one? Excited. Oh, I, I think I got it, Candice. I think Which it's one? this one right here. <gasps> I see a big mouth and big eyes. Yes. And he's doing something that he really likes to do. Oh, that makes me excited yes. too. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna put excited. And we have one, one more. One more. Let's see what it is. You know what? I think it's happy because he's smiling. I see all of his teeth. Oh, look at that face. And bright eyes, is. bright smile. Yes. Yes, happy. he is happy. Wow, what a great job. Wow, you should be you. so proud. I am proud, and I thank you for helping me today. Sure. Wow. Did you guys enjoy that activity? I did and we use our feelings to express ourselves you know sometimes we're feeling good and then sometimes we're feeling not so good so I just want to reflect on what we talked about today remember that our question of the day was how can friends communicate thoughts feelings and needs to each other and of course our great friends from past Christian uh, Mississippi Miss Holder's class they told us some things that make them feel better and how to communicate and then we learned our vocabulary words, memory, express, apologize, and listen. And can you give us at least one before we go? Well, remember, our word listen mm -hmm. was escuta. Escuta. And we put our finger to our ear, and that's the sign for listen. Listen. And you know what? My friend Lemuel, he came in and he listened to me, and oh. we create a memory together oh. because I was missing That's my beautiful. dad. And so we made a beautiful collage of me going fishing with my dad. So That's I'm going to so finish it up at home with my brothers and sisters. I'm going to share with them. What a great idea. Yes. And then, of course, we talked about the different dolls and the feelings. Can you share something like that? Oh, let's look at our babies one more time. Look at that baby that's so surprised. Oh, yes. And this baby is sad. He's yeah. got his crinkly, sad face. Yes. And uh-oh, there's Mad Baby. Mad Baby. <laughs> Yeah. Something not going his way. way. Yeah. And then we did the little activity of, a, of the different facial expressions. So you guys, I thank you for being with us today. And so I want you to go to your local library and find books about feelings and memories and about making collages and also some of the uh, Spanish words and sign language that we use. Well, that's it for us today. Bye, friends. Farewell. Friends, we hope you had fun today. Please join us again for some more adventures next time. For more family enrichment activities, visit our website at mdek12.org slash ec. Farewell, farewell friends today. 
friends that are here and far away. We have learned a lot through play about our theme and question of the day. Farewell, farewell, friends, today. It's time to go till another day. Farewell.